Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Willy Morgen. Ja, in der letzten Folge haben wir mit dem Künstler hier zu meiner Rechten gesprochen, beziehungsweise er nennt sich Museumskurator. Der hat uns gesagt, dass wir diesen Umschlag hier nur bekommen, wenn wir nachweisen, dass wir ein Nachkomme sind. Und ich gucke immer, ob vielleicht was Neues noch kommt, was man anklicken kann. Und wir werden auch noch verfolgt. Das heißt, wir schauen aber trotzdem erstmal weiter, ob wir jemanden finden können. Ach, das ist ein. It would be better to ask the owner before taking a seat. Ja, ja, ja. Ich würde nur ehrlich gesagt gerne mich erstmal umschauen. Glückskeks? I can't open this case without the right key. The lock seems to be tamperproof. Ich hasse sowas in Spielen, Mann. <lacht> Good morning. Good morning, and welcome to the one-eyed Jack of the Bellamy family. I glimpsed the menu outside the club. What's your specialty? Chicken, kid. Delicious, free-range chicken. Only chicken? Absolutely, kid. Chicken is our main ingredient. Healthy, genuine, and it's not fattening, so you can eat as much as you want. We Bellamys have invented more than 100 recipes to serve it with. A diverse menu, then. How's business going? Money is not important to the Bellamys. Our forefather, Eddie Bellamy, left us a little nest egg to pursue our family mission. And what would that be? Find the Chosen One. Okay. What do you mean by Chosen One? The family legend says that Eddie Bellamy, progenitor of the Bellamys, learned every recipe on how to cook chicken. But his efforts in the kitchen seemed not to be appreciated by customers who considered his recipes mere common chicken, bumpkins. So he created the only meal that was not chicken-based, the Bellamy cookie. The patrons seemed to be thrilled by the extraordinary innovation, but Eddie, given the indifference his cooking received before that, imposed one condition. Only the chosen one could taste the cookie from the Bellamy recipe. And since then, from generation to generation, the search has kept going. Which cookie are we talking about? The sacred cookie. Contained in that glass case, built to keep its fragrance intact. How long has it been in that case? Since the day it was baked by Eddie Bellamy. And according to legend, it seems Eddie found a recipe for a pastry that could last for centuries without losing its fragrance. Do you mean that in all these years nobody was able to earn the right? Absolutely not. That is the original cookie. Never has another one been baked. How can you recognize the chosen one? That'll be the only one who can pass the test. What test? The menu, kid. The menu. Only the worthy will listen to the entire menu without blinking an eye. And at that point, he'll have earned the cookie, along with honor and fame. Very epic. Where does the test take place? At the table. When you feel ready, take your seat, and we'll see if you might be the chosen one. But don't get your hopes up. We're extremely selective. Gibt es einen Trick, wodurch ich nicht blinzel? Also zum Beispiel eine Brille so mit aufgeklebten Augen oder sowas? Das wäre natürlich schon... Ah, oder kann ich meine Augen durch die Aufkleber vielleicht offen... Ah, nee, dann blinzeln die ja trotzdem. Obwohl... Mh, naja, nee, wenn man es auffällt, kann man ja eigentlich nicht blinzeln, ne? Äh, ich spreche ihn aber erst noch auf die anderen Sachen an. Are you a great grandson of Eddie Bellamy? Absolutely, kid. My great, 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 great grandfather was the best cook of the Seven Seas. He was the one who founded the first One-Eyed Jack. And since then, we've come a long way. Do you mean that you've expanded all over the world? Absolutely not. Bone Town has always been the one and only place where you can taste one of our delicacies. Do you mean that you've introduced new original recipes? Oh, absolutely not. Nobody can improve Grandfather Eddie's recipes. A distant cousin tried to do that, starting his own company, the Mix Something. But I haven't heard about it since, so I don't think he had our luck. Surely not your luck, yeah. Ich verstehe es nicht, aber es ist okay. I don't get it, but it's okay anyway. Äh, können Sie den Außerwelt noch mal erklären? Ich habe gesehen, dass es ganz neue Regenrinnen gibt. Ich hoffe, er erzählt uns jetzt nicht das Gleiche. I've seen that all through Bone Town there are new gutters. Yes. The mayor decided to invest the city's money that way. It's not a bad idea. By channeling the rainwater, 
The city will ensure some drinkable water. The mayor? Yes, Steve Bonnet. He's the man who's been taking care of the city for countless years. Luckily, he's in charge, or Bone Town would already be a ghost city. Okay, dann versuchen wir's mal. I see there's a free table. Can I take a seat? It depends. On what? That table is reserved for those who want to test themselves. Can you explain better? Our family, the Bellamy's, have always looked for the chosen one. And this table can reveal if a person is that or not. Mm. Thanks, and goodbye. Thanks to you, and enjoy your stay in Bone Down. Kann ich mich dann jetzt einfach hinsetzen? I see you want to ja, okay. prove yourself. When you're ready, <coughs> call me. I'll be right there. Also, ich könnte mich jetzt theoretisch vorbereiten. Ah, Moment. Okay, jetzt kann ich mich selbst anwählen. I don't think sticking them there would be useful. Uh, I can't, but maybe I can use something on me. Vielleicht kann ich etwas mit mir benutzen. Ja, vielleicht müssen wir wirklich so eine Brille finden oder sowas. Also ich denke mal, dass das jetzt nicht funktionieren wird, aber wir machen es einfach mal. Ready. Very well, I'm coming. Let's begin the test. We'll soon know if you're the chosen one or just another common person. Our menu includes mushroom chicken, algae chicken, egg chicken, spicy chicken, sweet corn chicken, pepper chicken, olive chicken, chicken in vinegar, blah, blah, chicken, blah, 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 free range, blah, 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 herb crusted, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. <laughs> kid, hey kid, the test is over. I'm sorry. I thought you were different from the others. For now, you're not the chosen one. And yet I was sure I'd be the one. Ja, ja, ja. Also, habe ich mir schon gedacht, wir müssen garantiert irgendwo vielleicht so eine Brille finden oder sowas, wo Augen drauf sind. Äh, uh, hier können wir nichts machen. Ah, vielleicht in diesen Zirkus, den wir da gesehen hatten. Also, was so nach Zirkus aussah. Das sieht man nach einer Kirche aus. Ich schau mal hier hinten nach. Drugstore. Und da ist nur Alkohol. Gummibärenautomat, was? It only works with five cent coins. Und er hat keine, nehme ich mal an. Kann man sich nicht angucken. Was ist denn das? Bone Town? Fabulous? Gehen wir mal rein, würde ich sagen, oder? Oh, 3 d Oh, 3D-Drucker. Könnte der mir vielleicht so eine Brille herstellen? I'm not thirsty. Useless. I already have all the energy I need. It doesn't work like that. It's the same printer we use at school. Here on the side is a multi-format reader. It can read USB sticks, CDs, etc. And it's also a scanner to read data directly from images. Once all the info has been inserted into the reader, it'll be converted into data, which will be passed on to the printer. Only then will it be ready to begin operating. Hm. Und ich habe jetzt natürlich keine Vorlage für eine Brille, ne? Mir sind die Regenrinnen aufgefallen. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Welcome to the fabulous Bone Town New Pub. Is this supposed to be a pub? It is. It's a full-fledged pub. You have the opportunity to select different drinks of your choice, and it's all automated. At first sight, it looks more like a garage with vending machines. Details. This is the future. People don't want to waste time with chatter. They want to get straight to the point. And I offer what they want. A valid alternative to the old and worn down Bone Town premises. Maybe you should have invested a bit more in the interior design, like moving some tires or getting rid of the tools. I appeal to a different clientele. A bit in the style of Dine and Dash, but more like Drink and Dash. Well, if that is your philosophy, I'd say you've done a great job. I know. Thank you. How is business going in Bone Town? I only opened this business recently, mm. but I'm very confident. The market research I did before opening in Bone Town is very accurate. 
So it's just a matter of time, and then I'm sure I'll find great satisfaction. What kind of market research? I was passing by Bone Town when I had a car problem. I asked for help from the town mechanic. After the hike to check out my stalled car, he asked me if by any chance I had something to drink. And so the light bulb went on in my head. Ding! If people here need takeaway drinks, I'll be here to serve them. So you just relied on the opinion of a single person who happened to be thirsty. Exactly! <laughs> I know how to read the needs of a village. It's from little things that big projects grow. I have some serious doubts, but I wish you luck. Thanks, but luck doesn't have anything to do with it. Intuition and precise calculations are the foundations of every solid venture. That's right, I agree. Uh... How do you handle your operation? Ha! <laughs> That's simple. The vending machines and the signs do their work. I just have to wait for the customers and invest the proceeds in my other passion. Video games. Oh, so you're a developer? Ha! <laughs> Please. I want to make a living. I play everything I can and help developers with my precise and sharp feedback. Of course. Who's the town mechanic? He's a very skilled local handyman. They still call him the blacksmith here. He can fix practically anything. At first I had some problems with the vending machines, and he took care of making them go again. Now he's tinkering with my car. Now that I've moved here, I don't need it anymore. Since I have no urgency to get it fixed, I told the blacksmith he could work on it during the slow times. Since then, I haven't seen him around anymore. I understand. <laughs> yeah, um... I noticed the new gutters in Bone Town. I didn't. I'm not from around here. I recently opened my business, and I'm dedicating body and soul to it. I've never ventured out to take a tour of the town. That's a shame. You don't know what you're missing. Ja, ich vermute mal, weil er die ganze Zeit nur hier sitzt und am Computer spielen ist. Beziehungsweise Konsole hat er ja. Äh, also ein Pad, ne? Hier von der Konsole hat er äh, in der Hand. Ihr wisst, was ich meine. I also saw a 3D printer. Yes, it's the latest fashion. I decided to expand my market. By offering different products in the same store, I have more chance to succeed. Drinks and 3D printers? I see you also grasp the symbiosis of the two things. Hmm. I wasn't exactly paying you a compliment. This is another of my brilliant ideas. You can use it if you want. The first time, it's free. Just to encourage the customer to come back. And many people use it here in Bone Town? Some pass by here to see it, supposing it's an aquarium. But as soon as they recognize its potential, a universe of opportunity will open up to them. I like your enthusiasm. I'll make good use of it too then. It's at your disposal when you want it. Controller meine ich natürlich. Ein Controller hat er in der Hand. So. Bye. See you soon. So, äh, ich würde mal sagen anhand der Form, dass das wahrscheinlich ein Xbox Controller ist. Ich bin mir aber nicht hundertprozentig sicher. Aber es sieht so ein bisschen so aus. Ja, schade, It dass man den like that. It's the same printer we use at school. Here ja, on ja, 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 ist ja gut. Äh, sonst kommt man nichts mehr machen, ne? Genau, dann gehen wir wieder raus. Mm. Drugstore, okay, aber möchte ich jetzt im Moment nicht. Ich möchte ja dieses eine finden. Ah, von dem hat er gesprochen. I don't need it. What could I do with a cart with a couple of wheels missing? Naja, dein Fahrrad könntest du damit zusammenbauen, ne? I can't get there. And above all, I don't need it. Das ist ein Kanon. Achso, ich wollte gerade sagen. I'll think about it later. Maybe I could mount it on my next bicycle. Mhm. Auf jeden Fall bist du damit schneller. Kann ich hier rechts rumgehen? Ja, bewegt sich noch. Okay. Ach du Schande, wo bin ich denn jetzt? I'm a peaceful guy. I don't want to bring weapons with me. Ist das ein Waffengeschäft oder was? Also hier kann man dann erstmal... Moment, jetzt muss ich hier doch mal eben gucken. Musikinstrumente. Ah, sehr schön. Apotheke haben wir auch schon. Ach, das soll eine Apotheke gewesen sein. Ah. Ich will aber hier oben eigentlich hin. Das heißt... Oh, was habe ich jetzt gemacht? So, das heißt entweder hier... 
Da ist es anscheinend nicht. Wie komme ich jetzt zurück? Darum. Sondern da, glaube ich, geht's rein. Genau. Vielleicht können wir hier... Let's try and hope it still works. Ah, oder wir machen ein Foto von uns. There's a super promotion. With a single shot, you'll see yourself in your current form, in the guise of a pirate, and brand new option, in the guise of a drunk pirate. All offered by the Lafitte Amusement Park. The things you do to attract customers. Woo! I better go out and recover the posters. I'm curious to admire the different versions of myself. Okay, er ist... Three posters of me. Äh... Okay, das sind da die Piraten-Dinger. Exactly ja, das ist leider immer so. Aber das hier ist schon mal sehr, sehr gut. Also ich hoffe mal, dass man das irgendwie als 3D-Druck oder so machen kid. kann. Hier kann man nichts mehr machen. Straßenschilder... Eintrittskarten, Vergnügungspark. Also ich vermute mal sehr, sehr stark, dass wir... Wo waren das jetzt? Museum? Ne, Moment. Äh, Schmiede, Waffenladen. Das war aber doch direkt daneben. Wieso kann ich den da nicht anvisieren? Ach so, Apotheke, Papp. Ja, okay. Das sind dann die beiden hier. Reicht das, wenn ich da ein Foto reinmache? Das ist jetzt die Frage. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Das reicht anscheinend nicht. Ah, okay, dann. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Muss ich nochmal mit ihm reden, vielleicht? Hm. I also saw a 3D printer. Yes, it's the latest fashion. I decided to expand my market. By offering different products in the same store, I have more chance to succeed. Drinks and 3D printers? I see you also grasp the symbiosis of the two things. Hmm. I wasn't exactly paying you a compliment. This is another of my brilliant ideas. You can use it if you want. The first time, it's free. Just to encourage the customer to come back. And many people use it here in Bonetown? Some pass by here to see it, supposing it's an aquarium. But as soon as they recognize its potential, a universe of opportunity will open up to them. I like your enthusiasm. I'll make good use of it too then. It's at your disposal when you want it. Ja. Goodbye. See you soon. Die Frage ist, wie kann ich den benutzen? Ne? Ich hatte jetzt gehofft, dass wir das jetzt eventuell mit dem Poster machen können. I think I'm a good looking kid. I'm not thirsty. It doesn't work like that. It's the same printer we use at school. Ja, 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 ist ja okay, Mann. Aber wieso funktioniert it das nicht? Ach so, Moment, er, er erklärt es ja it dann nochmal. Like It's the same printer we use here on the side is a multi-format reader. It can read USB sticks, CDs, etc. And it's also a scanner to read data directly from images. Ja, meine Once ich all the info has been inserted into the reader, it'll be converted and only then will it be ready to begin operating. Aber ich kann nur diesen 3D-Drucker anvisieren. Ich kann, weil er meint halt, da ist ein Scanner drin. Deswegen bin ich natürlich davon ausgegangen, man kann einfach mal das Foto abscannen und ja, sich daraus dann 3D-Druck machen mit der Brille quasi. Okay, was haben wir denn hier? Hey, hey, hey! That is fragile instrumentation. You can't take it without authorization. Excuse me, I thought it was available for customers. No, it's extremely important equipment for my job. Only I can use it. Or whoever has my permission. All right. Dann gib mir doch einfach die Erlaubnis. Better not. I think the owner would be very upset. I'd like to take some, but I spent the last of my money at the Dead Man Inn. Stimmt, der hat gar kein Geld mehr. Mm, sonst ist ja doch hier ist noch was. I need it. I wrote down the ingredients I require to complete the recipe I'm working on. I understand. Mm. 
Good morning. Good morning. What can I do for you? I was just browsing. No problem. Uh, but please don't touch anything without my permission. I've arranged everything so that it will make my work easier. What work? I'm developing a recipe that will make me rich. I just have to find the final ingredients. Can I have some candies? Unfortunately, I have to say no. The ones you see in the shop are needed to complete the recipe I'm working on, as well as for my livelihood. I noticed. If you have some pocket change, there's a candy vending machine right outside the shop. You can take as much as you want. It's only five cents for a candy. Thanks a lot. What are you working on, exactly? It's a recipe of my own concoction for a new, non-alcoholic drink. As soon as I find all the ingredients, I'll patent it. I've written everything I need on this piece of paper I found in the back room. There's still some ingredients missing to complete the recipe. Then I'm sure my life will take a turn, and I could say goodbye to Bone Town. Can I help you somehow? Hmm, let me think. Uh, oh, maybe there's something you could do. I need to go to the warehouse to get some things I couldn't find anywhere else in town. But I need a specific plant that grows here in these surroundings. It's a plant with white flowers that only grows in places exposed to the sun, but also with enough moisture. No problem. I'll see if I can pick one up and bring it to you. No, 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 no. It's, it's extremely delicate. Any contact with the acids in human skin could ruin its essence. You should use specific instruments to pick it up and carry it. If you're willing to give me a hand, I can provide you with all you need. <laughs> what would I get in return? Fortune and glory, kid. Fortune and glory. Tremendously epic. <laughs> All right. Very well. Help yourself to the container and the trowel near the door. Once you've identified the plant, use the trowel to put it in the container. I figured as much. Thanks. It will also take me a while to find what I need in the warehouse. Uh, we'll meet back here. All right. Okay. Goodbye. See you soon. Das heißt, die Werkzeuge, äh... When you find the plant with the white flowers, make sure to be as gentle as you can. I'll do my best. Dürfen wir jetzt mitnehmen? I better be going now. Ja, nur bringt uns das natürlich Fiona was nicht clearly in a great hurry to leave. Das heißt, ich würde sagen, dass wir erstmal bei ihm vorbeischauen als nächstes. Weil bei ihm waren wir jetzt noch gar nicht. Das ist alles so ein bisschen... Ich kann mich nicht Let's auf eine Sache konzentrieren. Here. Weil ich nicht weiß, was ich wo bekomme. Oh, hallo, Ferdi! Too many things. I can't take them all. Ja, dann nimm doch das Wichtigste mit. I don't need it. I don't know how, but it could be useful. Vor allen Dingen magischer Hammer, okay? It must weigh at least a couple of quintals. I'd rather not test my spine more than necessary. Better take them with me. You never know. Ich bin gerade mal liegen. Zange, brauchte ich die für irgendetwas? Better not. It looks like here in Bone Town, water is a valuable asset. Was haben wir denn da? They could always come in handy. Okay, also was anzünden können wir auch. Hier war doch gerade was. Here, Horsey. It doesn't seem to be very cooperative. Maybe it needs some extra incentive. Ja, wahrscheinlich irgendwie äh, Süßigkeiten oder sowas bei meinem Glück. Ich wage es gar nicht. Better use it with caution. I could cause serious damage. Hm. Mm. Nee, äh, ich denke mal, dass wir jetzt hier im Moment noch nicht so wirklich weiterkommen. Ich weiß noch nicht, was das ist. I don't have to compete in some strange medieval tournament. I'll remember it in case a dragon appears before me. Yo, Captain America. Bis auf den letzten Film war der richtig cool. 
Pistole. The engraving says J. Roger. Let's try to see if there's something that might be useful to my research. Oops. Oops, I better put everything back as it was. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, my mistake. Careful, boy. I don't like to repeat myself, so I'll tell you only once. It's not wise taking something without permission in a shop that sells weapons. Thanks for the advice. This mm -hmm. alarm is a problem. I have to find a way to avoid activating it. Ja, das stimmt allerdings. Das Problem ist... I don't think they would be useful to me, unless I want to take part in a medieval carousel. But right now, that's not among the things I aim to do. I don't need them. Okay, also der nimmt jetzt nicht alles, was ich mir angucke, auf. Das ist I don't gut. need them. Aber die Pistole scheint ja noch wichtig zu sein. There's no ammo. I need something to test the range of this mini catapult. Ich habe aber nichts, ne? Okay, so anscheinend kann ich oh, die Schere. Sorry, can I take these scissors? It seems to me it's the only thing suitable for you in this shop. Round edges for greater security. Go ahead and take them. And don't forget to advertise Roger's Weapon Shop. Um, thank you. Aha. Können wir... It could be a good idea. Now I have a nice pair of cardboard eyes. Perfekt. Kann ich die so drauf machen? Also ich hoffe, ich probiere das auf jeden Fall jetzt gleich mal eben aus, aber ich rede noch mal kurz mit ihm hier. Ist glaube ich das einzige, was ich machen kann, ne? Good morning. Good morning to you, young man. Are you interested in something? I need weapons. <laughs> Many weapons. No problem. Here you can find as many as you want. And if you don't see something around, I can order it for you. But I need your ID and your carry permit. I'll be back with the documents. Many documents. I'm sure of it. Excuse me. Uh, all these weapons are messing with my mind. How long has this shop been running? Basically ever since Bone Town existed. In every town there's a shop selling weapons. And Rogers is the ultimate shop in the city. We have weapons from all countries and all ages. Our centerpiece is that gun on display over there. It dates all the way back to the early 1700s. My grandpa found it hidden in his attic. It's in a perfect state of preservation. I'd only like to take a look, thanks. Ah, yeah, no. How does your alarm system work? It detects the presence, weight, and dimensions of the object. As soon as this is removed, it immediately goes off. The only chance to steal it would be to substitute the gun with another identical one. But being one of a kind, it's absolutely impossible. I'd say it's a foolproof system. Understood. Ja, ich habe auch schon überlegt, ob man davon nicht einfach ein Foto machen könnte oder so. Andererseits, Gewicht und so soll gleich sein. Ja. I couldn't help but notice the gun on display. You have a good eye, kid. It's the finest piece we have. It's an authentic weapon from the early 1700s. My grandpa found it in the attic. And since then, it has always been on display here in our shop. We've done lots of research on it, but we were never able to establish provenance. We know that it dates back centuries, and it's a unique piece. It is unmatched in handling and finish. How it ended up in my grandpa's attic is currently a mystery. There's an inscription. J. Roger. We think it belonged to one of our forefathers. And in our family tree, there's nobody whose name started with a J. The first Roger to arrive here in Bone Town was Johan. But he was an Icelandic fisherman. How much are you selling it for? It's the only piece in the entire collection not for sale. Why's that? It's needed to give our shop a certain prestige. Without this, we would just be another common emporium selling weapons. Instead, many people pass through here because they know this relic is here. If I sold it, many customers wouldn't return. I understand. Okay. There must be something for which you would be willing to part with that gun. Absolutely not. There is no other weapon identical to this. You could try to find another identical one, but according to the research we did, it's a unique piece. And even if I found another one of the same value, I could never trade it. As I already told you, our patronage is based, at the end of the day, on this heirloom. That's why we installed a very sophisticated alarm system that goes off as soon as the weapon is removed. 
I noticed that the city is being revitalized with all those new gutters. Let's say we must make a virtue of necessity. We've got serious water problems here in Bone Town. And, I would add, serious economic problems too. Our Mayor Steve is trying to tackle all these problems as best he can. I think it's a good compromise. All that shiny brass seems to beautify Bone Town, and simultaneously provides the water we need to get by. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Gut, wir können ja von hier... Ach, falsche Taste. Wir können ja von hier aus direkt drüber porten, ne? Ähm, wo müssen wir denn jetzt nochmal hin? Moment, Museum war das eine. Gast, Gasthaus war das, ne? Ne, Moment, Gasthaus? Rathaus war ich doch gar nicht. Wieso ist das denn schon? Äh, Musikinstrumente war ich nicht drin. Ich bin verwirrt. Oder war das... Das war doch nicht das Rathaus. Ach, das ist das Rathaus gewesen. Ah, okay. Jetzt bin ich nur gerade im... Ach so, genau. Hier müssen wir rein. Fable Town. Nee, Moment. Äh, da wollte ich dir einen 3D-Druck machen. Aber das ist Quatsch. Dann müssten wir... Oh Gott, oh Gott. Ich weiß gerade gar nicht, was was ist. One-Eyed Jack... Gasthaus ist doch dieses eine, wo wir ganz am Anfang waren. Ist das das One-Eye-Check gewesen? Ah ja, der mit seinem Hühnchen, genau, genau. I see you want to prove yourself. When you're ready, call me. I'll be right there. So, wir probieren es nochmal. It could work. Der Herr. I feel ready. Very well, I'm coming. Let's begin the test. We'll soon know if you're the chosen one or just another common person. Our menu includes mushroom chicken, algae chicken, egg chicken, spicy chicken, sweet corn chicken, pepper chicken, olive chicken, chicken in vinegar, blah, blah, chicken, blah, 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 free range, blah, 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 blah herb crusted, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Kid. Hey, Kid. The test is over. Fällt ja gar nicht auf. I saw you fall into a trance. Just like in the legend that has been passed down for generations. You're the chosen one. The one who can taste the unique and incomparable Bellamy cookie. After the sixth plate, I felt the force flowing strong in me. I know. The chosen one has this power. Keep the key. With this, you'll have access to the Bellamy treasure. Thank you. I'll put it to good use. Ich habe die Macht good. zum Schatz. I don't need these cardboard eyes anymore. Nein, du kannst sie doch nicht einfach wegtun. Vielleicht brauchen wir die ja doch noch für irgendwas. So. Since I'm the chosen one, I'm entitled to it. Jetzt hat er aber den Schlüssel weggeworfen, ne? Also für was anderes brauchen wir den anscheinend nicht mehr. It's the original Bellamy cookie. Inside should still be the message from Eddie Bellamy. I can't open it. After all these years, the dough is Nein. hardened. I need something to break the cookie. I don't think these will help me this way. Moment. I need something to put the cookie on to be able to open it. I need something to put the... I need some... I need some... Hm. Und wir stehen wieder vor dem nächsten Problem. Das gibt es doch nicht. Wir können den Keks jetzt gar nicht öffnen. Naja, gut. <lacht> Ist aber nicht schlimm. Vielleicht wird uns unterwegs noch irgendetwas einfallen, wie wir das Ganze öffnen können. Ich würde sagen, wir machen hier erst nochmal einen kleinen Cut. Und wir müssen ja auch nochmal ähm, also zu diesen Clowns, äh, wie nennt sich das jetzt, zu diesem Zirkus da hinten. Na, ihr wisst schon, was ich meine. Da müssen wir auch noch hin und eigentlich müssten wir auch noch die Blume suchen. Ich weiß jetzt nicht, wo wir die jetzt eventuell finden. Das darf ich auf jeden Fall nicht vergessen. Und zum Bürgermeister sollten wir auch noch gehen. Das heißt, wir haben noch viel vor, deswegen ein schneller Cut. Und wir sehen dann den Rest in der nächsten Folge. Bis dann! Ciao! Vielen Dank für dein Like. Wenn du mehr davon sehen möchtest, dann darfst du mich auch gerne abonnieren.